Welcome back to the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. Our second segment this afternoon, we'll be talking a little volleyball with Jamie Gordon here. And, of course, uh, Jamie, as we talked about last week, uh, mm -hmm. everybody looked for the tournament uh, that this past weekend. You go 3-0 and in that tournament and uh, uh, beat a very high-ranked uh, Missouri squad in front of a huge and a uh, rowdy crowd of Weatherby. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun weekend for us. Um, to be honest, it was something that we needed. We had to uh, – gain a little bit of, of momentum going into, uh, you know, conference play. We had a couple disappointing losses a little bit earlier. And um, it was, so it was nice to see that our team can uh, perform to our capabilities. And then there's no doubt that the match on Friday night uh, against Missouri was big. We had a tremendous crowd. Um, everybody from our, our cheerleaders that were, were so instrumental, Dr. Andrews that was uh, uh, leading the cheer and, and, and the charge. And, you know, when you have such a, a, a tight match like that and you've got, um, you know, matches that are sets that are decided between just two points, um, that, that home crowd is, is a lot of times a difference maker. Now, you always mention about how Weatherby is such a great place to play. I guess some of these player, uh, teams that's coming in probably uh, probably agree and disagree with you. Probably They probably think, well, you know, we wish we could have this at our home, and then they'd think, we may not want to go back to Weatherby again, which is great for, for you and your ball club. Yeah, th there's no doubt. I think that definitely we had our um, – uh, you know, Missouri kind of came into uh, maybe a little bit of a, a hornet's nest. I, I think that uh, – but at the same time, I think that our, our team and our players have, have really worked hard and have had a lot of success um, to where, you know, we don't sneak up on people um, per se. They, we, we've, we've won our conference. We've, we've done some good things. We've gone out and, and played some very competitive schedules. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not that easy to just kind of sneak up on somebody and, and have them not be prepared. And um, I think that's what made it fun. Uh, again, for that Missouri match. Had a good week overall. I mean, you go to Marshall and, and drop a hard-fought decision to the Thundering Herd, uh, but then after that, the, the girls recovered. Tell us, let's talk a little bit about the Marshall match. Um, you know, the Marshall match was, uh, to be honest, a little disappointing for us. Uh, um, we, we definitely didn't put our best foot forward, and that's um, – you know, regardless of the win or the loss, and that's what we talk about with our players a lot, is that we're a very process-driven team. The, the, the wins and losses are a byproduct, and um, we we did not play well. We, we did not do a good job of taking care of the controllables, things that, that we want to make sure that every match that, that we step into um, that, that we're doing consistently, and that Marshall match we didn't. And, um, you know, give credit to, to Marshall. They, they uh, did a great job of, of taking – care of opportunities and um, so with a quick turnaround uh, you know we played Marshall on, on Wednesday we have one day to to kind of fix some things in that match but then also prepare uh, for two competitive matches on Friday and so I, I thought the way that our our team bounced back and, and really responded to a little bit of the shake and the wake-up call um, I, I was proud of them for that of course it's always important I guess early on the season to to try to get in a tournament as a coach you get you know multi-games in you know, a couple of days. I know that your tournament here, it just seems like every year you're getting better and better teams in. It's tougher and tougher, I think, to get teams in here because of the reputation that the, the Eagle volleyball program has. Yeah, and, you know, uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult after, again, knocking off Missouri. I uh, uh, got plenty of texts from a lot of people around the country that night and saying, hey, congratulations, that's a good win, that's a big win. Um, you know, and, and Missouri is a great, a, a great program. They've got uh, one of the best uh, players in the country in, in Lisa Henning. Um, and definitely, and this includes Penn State, Louisville, uh, I think the best player that we've faced all year. And for us to be able to defensively step up and, and match her, uh, Leslie Shellhouse, who was named uh, OVC Defensive Player of the Week, um, did a tremendous job uh, that evening and, and really gave us some great defensive uh, transitional opportunities. And, and then our, our offense you know, kind of uh, took over and, and took care of some, some good opportunities there as well. You know, you, you take a look at some programs and the fact that they – may have one tournament or try to have a tournament. I mean, you have your Comfort Inn and Suites Invitational and then your Eagle Challenge. Uh, you know, that says a lot for how your program is viewed here, but it also says a lot about your athletic department that you're allowed to, to have more than one event and you know, that brings teams in because it's that's a challenge itself, mm -hmm. trying to find teams, trying to find rooms, trying to make sure that it's a first-class event. And I know when you do something – 
as in you, as in Jamie Gordon, you're going to do it for his class. Well, and it's easy to do that with such a great uh, athletic department. Um, uh, all the people behind the scenes that, that really make a, an event like that possible, um, the hard works from uh, you know people like Darian Westerfield and, and Turk Wendell and, and Paul Rhodes, they, they, they're the ones that really allow us to focus on preparing for our opponents, to, to prepare to compete. and We don't have to worry about a lot of the, uh, the, the details, but it, there's no doubt that it's a great advantage to be able to host these events. And um, you know, not just, I think, the athletic department, but I, I, I think the, the community does a, a great job of putting uh, a good hospitable f step forward. And um, yeah, I think one of the things that we hear from a lot of the, the visiting teams is, wow, this, you know, this place is beautiful. This is really neat. I had no idea that this was here. And uh, so that's kind of fun to just to get to show off the university and, and the community as well. You mentioned uh, a couple of your players have been stepping up for you. Overall right now, I know it's uh, five and six, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the start you had and with the teams you've played, five and six realistically is not not a bad mark. No, it's it's not a bad mark. You you know, opening up with um, Penn State and Louisville, that my you know two of the top ten programs in the country. You've got Missouri, uh, Western Kentucky, Xavier, all the perennial teams going to the NCAA tournament. So, and we we designed the, our schedule that way, and um, you know we were hopeful to to be able to knock one of them off, and, and we, we did that uh, last Friday, and, um, you know, now we've got a uh, – but it's, all that is is, is just one win. Um, you know, ultimately uh, we're not going to, uh, you know, gauge and, and measure the success of our season based on, on what happens now. It's, it's about what happens in October and November. And so we've got to, you know, take this and, and roll that momentum into um, this upcoming weekend in, in North Carolina and then run into uh, OVC play. Jamie Gordon is our guest, the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. Jamie, uh, you, you mentioned the uh, Spartan Spectacular uh, <laughs> yeah. in Greensboro. Tell us uh, the team's going to be there and the, and the order that you're going to play them. Um, well, we're going to uh, we're going to get a chance to open up with Youngstown State, who's um, playing very well right now. Uh, knocked off uh, uh, SIU Edwardsville um, out of our conference uh, earlier on in the season. Uh, then we. Uh, turn on Saturday, open up the day with uh, UNC Wilmington, uh, another team that's playing very well, and then uh, finish off the tournament against the host team UNC Greensboro. Um, again, they're they're playing uh, very strong. All three of those those programs are are doing a nice job, and um, you know, we're going to have our, our work cut out for us to to get one win, let alone you know two or three. And of course, after that tournament, it begins to be uh, uh, much more funner, as we would say at Moorhead <laughs> State, because uh, the OVC. Part opens up, and uh, as we talked about last week, uh, Belmont comes to town uh, September 21st, and then not a lot of rest. I don't know how y'all do it because you, you play uh, Friday evening, and then at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon, you're back at it with Tennessee State. So the league action begins very, very shortly. Yeah, it, it does. You know, And I think that's kind of the, the, the fun part of it is that we, we sort of break our, our season down in, in little mini seasons. So you know, right now, as you, you mentioned, we're 5 and 6, and so at the end of the weekend we could be anywhere from you know, 5 and 9 to 8 and 6. Um, but as soon as Saturday night's done, our – record resets and we go to zero and zero and that's the one that that starts to matter for us um and and we'll we'll take the lessons that we had from those uh prior matches and and uh but let that go and, and really get focused on uh on belmont and tennessee state both of uh, belmont was was picked to, to finish second in the league um so that's that's going to be a big one in tennessee state also uh, picked to finish in the upper part of the of the conference so um, you know, we'll get a, a, a very quick um, feeling of, of how things are going to go in OBC play that, that first weekend. I know when I talk to people, I know last year we discussed this and a lot of people ask about it, the fact that how do you go three games in two days? How do you scout? Do you scout? Do you work on what you do? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit of how that progress goes. Let's say, okay, you, you play Friday. Right. After the game, you know you got next match Saturday morning or Saturday. What goes into with the girls, with the coaching staff, and everything like that? Well, we we prepare on two different levels. Um, one is as a staff. The other is as a team. Um, as a team, we only prepare for one team at a time. Um, so we're only going to give them information on the on the opponent that, that we have coming up. So on that Friday night match, um, the video that they've gotten, the scouting reports that they've gotten, uh, they get that 
um, you know, earlier on in the week, but that's what now as a staff, um, we're, we're scouting all of our opponents. We're, we've, we've got to put in a plan. Now, Friday night, um, we load up our video. It goes up online. Our players can then start to look at that. They get the scouting reports uh, for that next opponent, and then we start discussing that um, as a team that Saturday morning before the match. So they'll start doing it's almost like a little uh, homework. They yeah, get, almost like blackboard in a way. Yeah, yeah you kind of go exactly. get to the blackboard and get your video and yeah. study. And, and, and we try and, and really take a lot of time of, of breaking that video down so that they can digest it quickly and, and efficiently um, and look at the scouting reports and be able to, to pull things off uh, of each. And uh, one of the things that we're blessed with are very intelligent uh, group of women, um, so they understand what's what's involved in, in preparing for a test and uh, and doing well in those tests. So so they take it very seriously, and uh, the staff does a fantastic job of getting that material prepared for them in a, in a good timely manner. Uh, has to be, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you have to rely on your coaches a lot. If like you said, if they put the 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 tape or the whatever mm -hmm. on on online, the fact they break it down. You know that you have to rely on them a, a lot. Yeah, and, and I, I do, and I've, I have utmost trust in, in our staff. We've got an amazing group. Uh, Greg Goral, who's our associate head coach, Kirsten Becker, um, our, our other assistant, uh, Alex Del Piombo, who's uh, our volleyball operations uh, individual, and, and so all of us together work very hard to, to make sure that what we're doing is removing as many obstacles. Um, from our team and from our players uh, so that so that they can step up and, and be successful. Youngstown State coming up on Friday, UNC Wilmington on Saturday, and UNC Greensboro on Saturday. But we want to remind everyone that uh, Friday, September 21st, Belmont comes to town, the first OVC game, and then the next day Tennessee State will, uh, will play at Weatherby. Jamie, always a pleasure. We'll talk to you probably next week. All right. Thanks a lot, Jason. Jamie Gordon, volleyball coach here at Moorhead State University. We'll come back with more. This is the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.